The fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The word trespass isn't one that we use very often anymore, unless it's on a sign saying no trespassing, meaning don't come on this person's property. But the word trespass used to be used a lot more broadly. The word trespass used to mean any offense or sin committed against another person, not just those involving property. So if we put that into the fifth petition, forgive us our sins as we forgive those, those who have sinned against us. When I was in college, I was a part of this Christian group on campus and we learned a lot about faith and a lot about God. One of the things that we learned was that we could talk to God anytime, anywhere. Their favorite way to demonstrate this was through what they called the gospel on a napkin, namely because you could draw it on a napkin anytime, anywhere. And it went something like this. You see, man and God were together at the beginning of time, but then something happened and man became separated from God. That thing that happened was man's sin. Isaiah 59 verse 2 tells us that our iniquities separate us from God. Our sin separates us from God. And God cannot be in the presence of sin because God is holy. If we read our Bible verse, or at least the first half of it, we have for the wages of sin is death. Our wages for our sin is that we are destined to die. And we learned last week that all of us fall short of the glory of God because of our sin. And so man obviously didn't like this. That was, you know, he was destined to have happen to him. And so he tried and was like, oh, I'll do all these things. I'll work really hard. But despite all of his work, his efforts, and even his finances, they all just continued to fall into this pit. And he wasn't able to have a bridge to be able to get him to God. There was nothing that he was able to do. If we look at the Bible, Ephesians chapter 2 tells us, For it is by grace you have been saved, not by works, so that no man may boast. The bridge is a gift. It's not something that we can earn or something that we can do. If we look at our Bible verse up here, For the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God can provide us eternal life. And we know that he did this through his son, Jesus, who died on the cross. Man was not able to make a bridge, but God is able to make a bridge. And that bridge was Jesus. It wasn't anything that man was able to do to be able to build this bridge or save himself, but rather it was only because of the love, grace, and mercy of God that this bridge, Jesus, was created so that we could have eternal life with God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that we are all sinners. We sin by choice and we sin just by our being, God. We sin in thought, word, and deed. Today, God, we ask that you forgive us of all of our sins, that you help us to rely on you for our salvation, and that we know the salvation that you provide because of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for your love, grace, and mercy towards us. Amen.